Right, so I know you guys haven't heard from me for a little while. Danny uh, from New Again has been putting a few videos on to keep you interested, but I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown on what we're up to today as there's some interesting bits and pieces going on. So I'm filming here now the new Nissan Zero, whatever that means, emission zero. Is that zero? Yeah, I suppose it is, stupid me. Zero emissions whatever the flipping thing's called. It's a leaf, but there's another name for it as well. Anyway, um, it's here for a ceramic coating. We're going to put the Matrix black on it. Just show you inside. It's got all the electric dash. Of course, it would do because it is electric. Um, and uh, But it doesn't stop you putting a ceramic coating on it. Matrix black is what's going on this. It's an eight-year product. The lady does intend to keep it for even 10 years so she already likes it even though she's only driven it from here to the dealership from the dealership to here so um yeah so it looks pretty shiny we're going to make it way more shiny than that this has just got the dealership polish on at the moment so we're going to strip that off and put a decent quality finish and give it the pop uh, the pop basically is this suit shine and it picks out the metallics and the matrix black is very good for that it kind of really does give it a zing um now okay so um this will be you'll see the finished video and a little bit of ongoing stuff tomorrow and i'll do a little bit of footage to show you what it looks like when it's done while we're talking electric this thing here great big audi e-tron whatever it is uh, ironically uh, is fully electric but it's had diesel in it but not in the way that most people would do that this particular gentleman's poured it in the back not on purpose I might add he was helping out a friend and there's a light in there showing you where a lot of it went you can see right down there but the, the, what the diesel uh, looks like doesn't really matter it's what it smells like the car absolutely smells of diesel obviously um, it's been in the back we've stripped out the back and there's going to be some pieces need replacing here's some of the bits here these will be cleaned and decontaminated and they're already smelling less diesel -y, but there are some bits that are down here on the floor that we're already kind of uh, decided that they soaked a lot of diesel up and so therefore they're going to need to be replaced so the padding's got to be replaced after this is all decontaminated a lot of little box sections and stuff in the car that's got to be flushed through because i can still smell the diesel quite pronouncedly uh, is it right pronouncedly quite a lot anyway um so anyway so that's another car here electric cars coming here from uh, under a you know different uh, set of criteria so circumstances shall we say right okay another car here this is interesting gentleman wanted to give his car a birthday so we're putting a nano coating on it why wouldn't you we've done a four buff on it and it, our rules if you like our little rule of thumb is to get it looking look, looking a bit like it's had a coating even when it hasn't so this hasn't got a coating on it we've just buffed it the four times but how amazing does that look and so I will show you the finished video and show you really how amazing it really, really will look. Even more amazing than that. And this particular car is even more amazing than that because this has got a coating on it. It's got our new graphene coating on it, waiting for the customer to collect it, who's been in, had a look at it, marvelled over it, and decided he's going to leave it here till tomorrow because uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's going to see the Queen. I don't know what he's doing, but he wants it nice. So he's decided to leave it here for another day. And we, we're happy to have it because we've had one or two people admire it. And you never know, somebody might actually decide to have a coating done themselves, having seen this. If they'd have seen it before, they would have been, um, uh, what do you call it, very impressed. But what I will say is there is footage, and Danny will put another video on to show you the before, during, and after, which you can see now, the after there. This has got our new graphene coating on it, and this guy's going to be a test pilot for us. So he's going to bring it back in a year and a couple of years so that we can show you how good it still looks after a couple of years this particular product is a three to five year product and that's a conservative estimate uh, because it's a relatively new product in fact it's a new to the world product uh, there's an awful lot of critics out there saying that graphene can't be suspended but um, i'm here to show you that it can and here it is on this car and it gives it like a metallic -y kind of hue almost like um like a tint and that's what you've got on it. It's like on this black car, it doesn't show quite as much. But on some other cars, you do get a bit of the red hue. I don't know if you can see that. It's not red. It's like a reddy orangey hue. Uh, it's, not, it's only subtle, but I quite like it. You, I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about there in that picture. But, you know, it's got that little bit of a hue to it. And, um, you know, 
I suppose it's a little bit like having flashy sunglasses with a bit of a tint. So I quite like that. Uh, this one's got the ultra hydrophobic. Um, the benefit to this is, OK, so it's not as scratch resilient. It's not as expensive. It's only an 18 month to two year coating. But uh, it does give you the super gloss and the hydrophobic. The hydrophobic means you just have to clean it less times, a lot less. Uh, it, it does self cleaning. So, you know, it gets dirty and then pours down the rain and gets clean again. Doesn't quite get as clean as it was the first time. And then eventually you do have to get out of bed and get up off your chair and go and clean it. Um, but, you know, then it comes up to shiny again. And then off you go again. It's then hydrophobic, self-cleaning again for a while. So there you go. So that's a little rundown on what we've got going on today.